About 100 Southlanders heard Opportunities Party leader Gareth Morgan talk politics in Invercargill last night. Hi, I'm Ruby Spink in Invercargill, outside SIT centre stage, where the first Opportunities Party meeting was held. The party's on a road trip of New Zealand, hosting meetings all the way from Invercargill to Kaitaia. Morgan says it was a chance to show how the party plans to create change. You know, governments are so incremental, so slow to act with problems that hang around for decades. I mean, you've just seen it in the last week. This whole thing with New Zealand Super has been hanging about since 1975 when Muldoon did the biggest election bribe ever. And here we are, whatever it is, 42 years later, and we still haven't dealt with it. And they still won't deal with it. And it's time's up, you know, they've got to pull their finger out. Morgan and Chief of Staff Jeff Simmons explained the party's policies, in particular taxation, the environment, and the party's unconditional basic income, to a largely receptive audience. I mean, you look at this group tonight, the age, the age thing was right across the spectrum. And I suspect from the questions that were asked, so is the politics. So we're sort of just a bit different there. The party's been going for just four months, and there were plenty of questions on the audience's mind, from taxation and superannuation to swimmable rivers. In the verdict? I thought, right, I'll come and I'll actually hear what he's got to say. So we are really impressed, and I, I would like to support the party. Yes, he's got some pretty, pretty straight up points, yeah, yeah. which I like, yeah. Uh, I'm a member of his party. I'm not sure if I want to vote for him at this stage, but I want to see it, talk to him a bit more about manufacturing, you yeah. know. The next stop on the road trip is Dunedin tomorrow night, where Morgan says he has a policy announcement to make. I'm Ruby Spink for The South Today.